KATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, the coldest air of the season, perhaps the coldest air we'll see all winter long, just hours away. And once we're in the deep freeze, we're going to stay there for four successive days with hard freezes at night. Temperatures don't get above freezing by much if they do at all tomorrow. And thereafter, we'll see a few afternoons where temperatures barely get above freezing. So this is the pipe busting type of cold you want to avoid. And also it puts a hurt on your tropicals as well, amongst many other things. So let's take a look at the big picture and we got it backed up uh, about 18 hours ago so you can see the Arctic invasion dropping southward in just 18 hours. You can see it's reached Louisiana from Nebraska and Kansas and making an impact already in northwest Louisiana and on top of the cold temperatures man there's a lot of wind with this system so we have brutal wind chills. We'll start close to home. Check out uh, Shreveport at four, uh, 13 Dallas at minus 4 Oklahoma City 18 below low on the wind chill and then those wind chills get uh, incredibly dangerously cold from Nebraska up through the Dakotas and portions of uh, the Rockies from uh, Wyoming on northward in the minus 30 to minus 40 degree range and this is with sun this afternoon. It'll be interesting to watch these numbers as we go into later on tonight. Here's the big picture. The radar satellite composite in motion. We have our big storm system, our blizzard taking shape right now with strong winds and snow and blizzard conditions across portions of the Great Lakes through the northeast and as we take a look at all the weather advisories winter weather advisories as far south as the arklatex winter storm warnings as we get into the areas of pink here and then blizzard warnings as you get farther north and west and although there's no precipitation showing up here there's going to be blowing snow reducing visibilities to down near zero so that's why you can have a blizzard warning without any precipitation it's just uh, snow is reducing visibility to near zero in spots so this is a whopper of a winter storm. For us, it's dragging a cold front through the area. That front has been generating showers, uh, quick moving showers that are going to be clearing the area in the next hour or two, but we're still seeing some nice little downpours from just about New Iberia over towards Sharrington and uh, then down through into Vermilion Bay. This will be moving through St. Mary Parish. No worries about this precipitation because it's going to evaporate before it gets cold enough for any ice to develop anywhere, so we're not expecting any travel issues. I'm going to put an asterisk on that. We'll talk a little bit more in just a second. Let's talk about hard freeze warning for all of Acadiana for tonight through at least Saturday. We'll see more hard freeze warnings going into Saturday night, Sunday morning more than likely, and perhaps Sunday night into Monday morning. So it's going to be uh, an extended period where we see those uh, sub freezing temperatures. So protect the pipes, plants, people, etc. Wind chills tomorrow morning, single digits. On top of that, a rare wind chill advisory for all of Acadiana for tonight. And then again tomorrow night, chills tonight as low as 5 to 10, and tomorrow night, single digits to lower teens. Now, the only thing that we have to be on the lookout for is as we get this colder air pouring in, it's going to be windy, temperatures dropping below freezing after midnight tonight, but we don't expect pipe busting uh, situation to develop tonight. But we also have to watch the Chafalai Basin because when you have this much colder air over the warmer uh, swamp, which is probably about 55 or 60 degrees, and you have 20 degrees, temperatures over it, you can generate what's called steam fog. Uh, basically, you see that fog coming off the body of water. We see it in the summertime all year round, but this time because the air is going to be so cold, if we see that steam fog developing, it could accrete on uh, the basin bridge and that could make for icy conditions, but that won't happen tonight uh, through tomorrow morning. Could happen tomorrow night, but it's always variable. It depends on wind and uh, if the winds die down enough and they're just right for uh, that fog to develop and then a Crete on the bridge. So tomorrow morning, right around 20 single digit wind chills and tomorrow afternoon, we may not get much above freezing, maybe some high clouds out there, but at least we'll see some sun. Tomorrow night is the challenging forecast. The high clouds could keep us in the lower 20s, but if these high clouds thin and the winds die down, we're going to see temperatures dropping another five or seven degrees colder than that. So could see teens for much of the area tomorrow night and then Saturday afternoon just above the uh, freezing mark for a few hours. So overnight tonight, here are your lows. 16 to 17 northern portions of Acadiana. Wind chill not included. Upper teens 20 in Lafayette, usually the warmer spot, but most folks upper teens to lower 20s down toward the coast and then tomorrow barely getting above the freezing mark. In fact, we don't do that. Northern parishes, uh, most areas don't get above freezing.
freezing. So when will the pipes bust if they're not protected? More than likely going into tomorrow evening. And here are the wind chills tomorrow morning. Single digits, sub-zero as you get into the northern part of the state. And we have that wind as well. Those winds are going to be gusting at 35 to 40 miles an hour all day long tomorrow. So batten down all the Christmas decorations. So here we go into the 10-day forecast. Windy and brutally cold for tomorrow. Look at those overnight lows, upper teens to lower 20s. And then as we head into next week, we'll see milder temperatures coming and then eventually back into the 70s toward the end of next week and into the new year weekend. But with that, we're going to see rain chances for now. That's it for now. We're going to have more coming up in just a little bit.